what's up? Pam Graham here. Just in case you're new to my channel, I'm a realtor in the Northeast Florida area and I put out new videos every single week about the area, the home buying and home selling process. Today I have my lucky Star Wars shirt on. Any Star Wars fans out there? Raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? It's okay if you did. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the various down payment assistance programs that you can use to buy a home with. So if you're thinking about buying one and it's a little overwhelming because you think, oh, I got to have a huge down payment. Well, guess what? The answer is no. You do not need a huge down payment to buy a home. In fact, there's chances that you could actually come to the closing table and receive money back. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We'll sit back and enjoy the video. Right now, at the date of this recording, there's about five different down payment assistance programs here in Northeast Florida. I'm not gonna go over each one in the video, so just check out the description box below to get more details on those. Some can be in the form of a second mortgage, where you actually have a fully amortized payment that you make along with your first mortgage. Then there are some that can be fully forgiven or not forgiven. Now, I know what you're thinking. Forgiven, not forgiven, what does that mean? Do I have to give confession? Is somebody gonna forgive me? No, <laughs> not that type of forgiven. I'll give you an example. There's one where it's a grant and you can get three to 5% of the mortgage purchase price to go towards your down payment. That amount, after about five years, is fully forgiven. You do not have to pay it off. That's pretty nice. Now, if you sell before the five years or refinance before the five years is up, you will owe a small portion of that down payment assistance funds back. But if you wait the full five years, you're free and clear. There are some where you will owe that amount, whether it's five years, 10 years, 20 years, whether you refinance it or sell it, that lien will have to be paid at closing. Now there are some restrictions. So some, some of the down payment programs, you can actually use some of it to go towards your closing cost if you have excess amount. And then you can ask for the seller to give a contribution towards your closing costs, which can help you come to closing with virtually zero down. There's, the other restrictions are based on you know, income, the housing price, things of that nature. Normally, this is where I would tell you to go to your bank or your credit union to talk about your mortgage. But chances are, they may not work with the down payment assistance programs, or if they do, it's usually just one program that they work with. That kind of limits you. So instead, I'm gonna point you in the direction of Lisa Daniels. She is a gal that is with Academy Mortgage, and she has been doing down payment assistance programs for years. So she's very knowledgeable and knows what she's doing. So what I'm gonna do in the description box below, I'm gonna leave her contact information. So feel free to give her a call to talk about your options and just tell her that Pam Graham sent you. Don't forget that. Thank you for making your way here in my video. I give out free guides that talk about the home buying and the home selling process. Just check out the description box below for a list of those free guides. Also for questions, feel free to send me a text or give me a call at the number that you see on your screen. I love answering all questions. Well, almost all questions. <laughs> if this is your first time here, make sure before you leave, to hit the subscribe button. Also hit like and leave me a comment. And let me know what you think. I put out new videos every single Friday and you don't want to miss any.